What's up guys, Ben Wise from Zor Fitness here, and today I'm gonna to be going over tempo, specifically how to read tempo, right? So I got two different examples, a squat and a pull up, just because each of those, for example, the squat, you're gonna start on the lower, the pull up, you start on the raise, but either way, regardless of where you start a movement, the tempo always starts on the lower, on the eccentric face of the lift, right? So it's always, whether it's that three is the first number or that two is the first number, both of those are the lower. Right, even though that the squat and the pull up are going to start on different phases of the lift, always tempo starts on the lower. Right, so for example, the squat 3 1 x1 is a three second lower, one second pause at the bottom, x for explode back up as fast as you can, and then one second will reset at the top. The pull up again, you have to think about okay, we're starting on the lowering phase, so it's a two second lower from the top after you've already done that rep. Right, a no pause at the bottom, two second raise count on the concentric and then a zero second hold at the top. Right? So there's two different ways to do it. Again, this is the biggest tricky thing is whether you've got to have a movement that actually starts on the lower or not. Either way, you got to remember that the lower is the place where the tempo always starts. Right? So um, there you guys go. Tempo is actually pretty simple once you get used to it. Um, it's just a way for your coach to actually specify each phase of the lift and give you a little bit more specific and a little bit more control over how you actually perform a repetition, which is, again, is going to benefit you in the long term. Let me know if you've got any questions, and feel free to comment below. Thanks, guys.